Today we are going to discuss about jet system back and ball. With the pressing of the pneumatic button at the top of the toilet bowl, how the vacuum system is working, how this valve is lifting and the toilet is goes to vacuum side, how the valve get written back and at the same time how the bowl is get filled with water. Let's be explored at this FD valve. This is the bowl side where the water and sheet, the things which is need to be discharged. And this is the vacuum side. The vacuum plant is connected with this side. So always this side is under vacuum. Here the shut off membrane, the U shaped valve which is holding and isolating both the side. So when this valve is get lifting by some mechanism, this pressurized side water and sheet will go to the vacuum side. So here the main objective is how the shut off membrane is get lifting and at the same time how the bowl is get filled again and how the valve is go close after when we releasing the pressing button. Okay, let's we turn and look out this valve. What are the components of that? So this is the way the new waters get filled in the bowl. After flushing, some waters get filled. It is for the sealing purpose and to avoid the smell. When we look this side, this one is the vacuum side. It is connected with the vacuum. And what are the other things are there? This is the starting starting wall, this water control wall and vacuum control wall. It's a main piston with the spring. This vacuum side from the vacuum branch, one small tube is going through the non written wall and it is connected with starting wall and vacuum control wall, the top side what I am showing. Here in starting wall, we have one flap, it is in closed position, so it, it, it is isolated. So basic condition normally water control wall, vacuum control wall, starting wall, all are in closed position. When the starting wall is gets moved, it will push the starting wall. So by the initial operation of starting wall, we will see. The starting piston have two connection. The down one is connected with the push button, flushing button. And had you asked the tube, it is connected to the bottom side and upper one is connected to the vacuum light. When we are pushing the push button, atmosphere pressure is connected with the starting piston downside. So due to the pressure difference, the starting piston moves up. When it moves up, it pushing the starting wall flap. When the flap is get opens, vacuum side is now connected with the main piston main piston will boost inside against the spring due to the vacuum. Main piston also attached with the mechanism of some cams. This moving operation will operate the cams to open the vacuum control wall and water control wall. Starting wall causes the vacuum to the main piston. Main piston moving operation causes the water control wall and vacuum control wall now gets open. When we look this side, so water is connected to this blue marking side. That is normal water, toilet water system uh, from the hydrophor or whatever. This ball open, so this water is getting to the bowl. When initiating the flushing operation, by the way, bowl is get filled with the water. And at the same time, vacuum control valve also open. This causes the vacuum from this line it's connect and this uh, what I am showing this spiral side to this housing. This housing is also now connected with the vacuum side. This housing is nothing. Inside we have one spring and diaphragm. We called a piston with spring. So what happened? This piston downward side uh, have connection with the shut off membrane. So when the piston in downside shut off membrane close position. But when it is uh, connected with the vacuum side, the piston start to move against the spring, causes the shut off membrane to open. By the way, toilet bowl discharge to the vacuum side along with the water. But this operation not so long time. This is all for the 2-3 seconds. How the all the operation get stopped? We are not pressing the button for so long time. The, when we are leaving the flush button, Starting wall isolate from the atmospheric pressure. 
so now both the side will get the equivalent of pressure it causes the starting piston to move down by the way starting valve flap get close position so main piston now isolate from the vacuum and the spring causes the main piston start to move but it here one we have one trick it has a small orifice this orifice allows a small amount of atmospheric pressure that means with a different size of the diameter we can control the movement of the main piston so by the way the cam is start to close the vacuum control valve first and water control valve next so as soon as vacuum control valve closed the shutter membrane get closed but water control valve will take one or two seconds compared with the uh, vacuum control valve so after shutter membrane closed the bowl is get filled with the water so any time you are facing problem with the bowl filling with the water after flushing mainly look out for the orifice in the starting valve so it's not a very complicated sense very simple but without understanding of the each of the component it's very difficult for the easy operation of the jets vacuum system thank you for watching my video i will upload more video about vacuum system of jets thank you very much